Good morning. I'm going to start with a little bit of history which will explain a little bit about me as well before I actually do my vintage toy review today. Now this toy comes from the early 1970s. Obviously the political climate was slightly different then. The economic climate was really quite poor. A lot of us didn't have a lot of money. My mum was a single mum so she had even less. So to get a toy was quite a treat. You know you would save for a toy. You would be taken to a toy shop to choose something for the value of the money you had. It wasn't a case of go in and choose what you want. I think it explains a little bit why I can be a little excessive now. Um, so I don't know whether it was a good thing going without or not. I think it was because it taught me a lot of lessons, but it has made me, oh, I do have a tendency to sort of see something and if I can afford it, I'm having it. That's, I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. And it also explains, I think, the why I collect so much. I like to collect. So I think a lot of people from my age group are very similar to that. I was about eight when the item I'm going to show you came out. I didn't get it brand new. That was not something I could have. If I was having a treat or a toy, it, you know, there was a lot of saving, a lot of things to think about before I got it. Well, I think one of the perfect examples of is when I was, I think I was younger than eight, but I'd seen a doll in a corner shop and I so wanted her. She was one of these that you fed water to and she cried and this is all I wanted. But the fair had also come to town. So, and the fairs were really good fairs in those days. So I had the choice, a doll or a trip to the fair. Now again, guess which I picked? I picked the doll and I was so happy. The best thing I'd ever had and I still have her. I only found her back out of a box recently. And here she is. I don't think you're gonna see her. Look at that. You can't really see her side though. She's only little. I think if I remember rightly, she came with a little bed and a bottle obviously to feed her. Her head's gone a slightly funny colour. She's gone a little bit overly yellow there. Um, but I've given her a wash, but I can't get her much better than that. I think she deserves some clothes though. So I really think I should make her something as if I've got an excuse to do that. But if you think, she is over 40 years old. And I'm so pleased I've still got her. My granddaughter, when I found her, because she was all grubby when I found her, was like, what is that? But she was quite excited when I told her the story that it was Nan's uh, little doll that she got. So you can see, I think the doll collecting pretty early started with me. So I'm going to pop her down anyway and just carry on. Now, the item I got, the reason I'm saying I didn't or I wasn't able to, it wasn't I didn't get much, I was very lucky, my mum's a massive crafter, so I did get a huge amount of things made that a lot of other children didn't get, so I was lucky, and I'm so grateful for the things she's taught me with those skills, obviously for now as well, so yes, I was a lucky child, I didn't see myself as going without, I don't think any of us did, it was normal, that's what you got, whereas now it's a little bit of, if I can't have, I'm badly done by, I think we do perpetuate that as parents and grandparents, so we're a little bit guilty. We can't always blame the kids. But yeah, it's everywhere now. You can get it everywhere you go. There are toys, supermarkets, everywhere. So it is there for the kids. Perhaps I sometimes feel sorry for them because they've almost got too much choice, which can cause problems in its own right. Now, this item, we were part of the local church because I was a brownie. My mum helped with brownies. I ultimately became a brown owl as well. And they did a jumble sale. Now, for anybody a lot younger than me, jumble sale. You don't have them anymore. Basically, people donated all their items, the church sold it off, and they got the funds for it. And because, again, people didn't have the money, it was a great way of going down and finding some new clothes or a new household item or toys, things like that. So... It was quite a big part of the community and I absolutely loved it. In fact, I really miss not having jumble sales. I dread to think what they'd be like now. I suppose a car boot equivalent, but it's not about other people making profit. It was about the church getting the money. So it was a good thing. So it's a cross between a charity shop and a car boot sale, perhaps something like that. Now, this item I found because we were helping out and I absolutely love rummaging. I still love rummaging. And I found this item and I thought I'd found oh the greatest thing ever um and it, nowadays it will cause a little bit of controversy which i'm going to go over when i actually do the review but i'm going to show it you now i had a doll missing out of mine but i think i paid pennies absolute pennies for it and i'm hoping i can lift her up because i've got my wire here it's not a her well it is a her it's a few hers 
and this is what I can you see it all yeah this is what I got so excited about it was mainly the dolls that I was interested in but you've got to remember for those who are too young won't get this but Miss World was a major thing that everybody sat down and watched every year on the TV it was exciting as a small child I thought it was great I'd sit down with mom and watch it and we'd have something to eat uh, we'd have a treat or some crisps or some pop or something like that and we would watch it and it would to me it was about guessing which lady won oh isn't that nice oh I love that oh look at the shiny crown I didn't see any of the political aspects regarding it which I know there has been some come up especially with the new film that has come out but I will discuss that when I actually review her but I just wanted to give you a little bit of background and explain perhaps a little bit about me I don't know but I've been looking for one of these for so long because the memories it actually gives me I can't explain that was almost priceless because of how I felt at that time uh, which I think is a little bit of a shame because nowadays like I said toys don't quite create that sort of excitement but because we didn't have when we got it was extra special so I'm going to finish that there so if you wanted to skip that bit please skip it and just have a look at the item and I'm going to do a little bit of a if I can speak I'm going to do a little bit of a review on it and see what you think and maybe talk a little bit about the situation and the things I was not aware of during that time span so see you in a minute or two back again and here it is the miss world game it says all the glamour tension and excitement of the real miss world contest as you can see you can see the four dolls in there so let's just get in it's not in the best condition but think how old it is this is over 40 years old there is a name of its owner on the other side i'm not going to show you that because obviously uh, that's somebody else's personal details but it was quite nice to see so it showed it was well played and well loved i'm just having a little look um oh it says the clothing for the contestants in this miss world game may not be as illustrated so that's a cop out so if you do look actually like this one's got a little little belly bit took out here whereas she hasn't on here and she's in a different color so i think that's what they're talking about really now let's have a little bit a look at the details i know it says somewhere eh, the game is uh, dennis fisher there's not a shoe. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Um, I didn't know that. It says Dennis Fisher Toys Limited. Uh, we're in Weatherby, Yorkshire. So it's a Yorkshire. It was. I don't know. Do they still exist? Probably not. But they might do, or they've been bought out by somebody else. Um, so it's quite nice to see that, as I'm a Yorkshire person myself. Right. Let's have a little look. We need to see the contents. It wasn't just about the dolls. It is a game. I was more bothered about these but yes it's a game so let's have a little look what we have here now inside the box we've got a little bit of how to put it together and a little bit about the rules now it's two three and four players it says i'm not going to read you all the rules but it does tell you i think it's a little bit self-explanatory there are dice there are places to walk on and on each one tells you something so that's it let's have a look so we'll look at the base first now you can see it's just just a bit of cardboard but most games are again it's been a little bit battered but i'm sure i can tidy that up obviously that's where she's getting her trophy and we have a backboard so she has her royal looking area there which is going to be attaching to that i think the little pe pegs that attach that together are missing but that's not the end of the world and this is the main board before she actually gets the chance to get her crown and it says miss world tour so you've got all the different sort of capitals around here although that says safari so i'm not quite sure where that fits in because these are definitely i don't think there's anywhere else that's not a country or oh, a city or a country yes that's the only one that says safari but basically you're going to be rolling the dice unlike with everything like monopoly etc etc you're going to move along you've got your start position up here this is where this is going to slot in i am presuming the stage sits like that so as soon as she gets to this point now some of this is quite amusing actually if you read this um these are things where you get points or you lose oh she's all lose these are all lose points uh mumbled interview frowned at press oh some of this is silly um poor smiles for the judges 
Poor deportment. Swimsuit strap broken. She lost 70 points for that one. Tripped on stage. <laughs> There's all these funny things here. They're not really negative, isn't it? It's all like, oh dear, fail, 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 fail. What was it teaching us? I don't know. I don't think it taught me anything, to be honest. I just played it. Um, there's all sorts of things around the edge as well. I mean, nightclub appearance offered. Go straight to Vegas. So that's why she can jump round to another area. And Vegas is there, so that would have been... Wow. Which way round? Would it... Oh, you just, just jumped, I think. Um, oh, she went and £600. You see, it is in pounds. It's not in dollars or anything. Uh, TV commercial offered... Most of this on here is positive, or at least it's it's benefiting the actual character. And it's only when she gets onto the stage that she's sort of gets all her points took off her and she's not doing too well there, bless her. So that is the board. So I'm gonna move that to one side. I don't think there's anything else under there. I've got papers everywhere. And here we go. We have the cash. It's very much like Monopoly money. In fact, does Monop I think Monopoly money is like that. I've also said it's been used. Well, it has. You know, it's got some wear on it. But I'm trying to think what the Monopoly money looked like. I'm not so sure it does. It isn't the same. It's probably the same company that manufactured it. The money that is, or the same sort of basis for it. So that was her money to get. She has her little accessories in here. We have the crown now looking at that again i thought it was amazing it's just basically a piece of gold cardboard but it was exciting to me and at the time that is all that mattered she has her little capes how many capes we've got they have a cape each and then we have our miss world cape you can tell they're original fasteners because they sort of go a bit i can't describe it um, the metal goes a bit odd so that was her final one so that's what she would be wearing if she actually won but this is what she'd be wearing as she went round oh mm, look quick look quick look all the press studs are there the quality is probably not much different this probably is what it was like so i'll pop that there and then obviously we need a dice and there's a piece of something in there oh it's, it looks like is it a stand it might be a stand i'll leave that there so yeah you, you've got your dice to get your point so everything seems to be there just odd little bits are missing i don't know some i don't know whether that's a stand we've got an extra label for miss usa there so let's get on to these dollies now we only have four countries represented we have miss usa some of these are missing the stand as you can see she is a blonde doll the little face she's a rubbery doll they're made out of rubber completely so she's doing quite well to still be in this condition she's got all the bits and bobs there all her fingers and her toes and as i said she's in a little stand which is quite a cute little stand actually and she has her little sash saying miss usa so i'll put miss usa there we move on to miss uk now i'm not quite sure what's happening with miss uk's hair it's gone a bit a little bit odd um, they probably do need a little bit of a wash before they're stored. Um, I haven't got a clue what I'm going to be doing with this. It, it was just, like I say, the memories, and I've been looking for it, and it suddenly came up on eBay, so i just got to go for it. Again, Miss UK is in not bad condition at all, and she still has her stand. She's in a little green swimsuit there. Now, Miss Jamaica doesn't have a stand, unfortunately, bless her. But again, nice condition. They don't have a lot of hair when you look at it. I mean, to be honest, they were quite cheaply made you know there's no sort of uh, top end quality here but again you've got to think about what the toys were like in the day and like i said this was uh, pretty good really so there she is miss jamaica now i think i mean this as far as i've worked out i've seen this was created in 1972 now i don't know whether there was previous versions or whether there were other dolls they made but to have the inclusion of Miss Jamaica, it makes me wonder because I know the scandal in sort of the 1970s, it was, well, there was all sorts of things. There was feminine issue, fe feminine, feminist issues. Uh, there was apartheid issues. Obviously, there were racism issues. It, it was a funny time. It really was. So it's really nice to actually see Miss Jamaica in there. I'm presuming, you know, to be honest, I don't know whether Miss Jamaica was my doll that was missing because these three... I've got in my head 
I really don't know. I can't remember. I really, really can't remember on that. Um, but yeah, that, that was nice. The inclusion's there, which it should have been. But I don't know whether there were previous versions. We have Miss Italy. She's sort of quite current with white hair in the day. I think that would have been a rather odd colour to choose because uh, white would have been classed as for an old person. But otherwise, she's in great condition. Oh, she's, she's got a little bit of sellotape. Oh, that's come off now. She's got a little bit of sellotape on, us, on her costume there. Perhaps a little bit of glue will be enough to sort that out. But they're quite cute dolls. They're quite funny little faces on them. They're all exactly the same face. Um, they've just got, I'm sorry, I'm leaning forward there, I'm, trying, I'm not leaning into it. Um, they've all just got different colour hair, basically, and different skin tones, so although there's not a huge difference. Uh, their eyes different. Mm, their eyes are slightly different in colour, nothing massive. So those were the little dolls, and I just thought they, they were magical. Absolutely amazing. But as I've just mentioned, there were a lot of political issues and arguments around the tv show again a lot of feminist issues i think well, i can see some of the criticisms on here sort of leans towards that but again i didn't notice that obviously there's the new film come out at the moment misbehavior which i'm looking forward to watching it obviously we can't go to the cinema at the moment but i was going to wait for it to come out on dvd anyway or if it comes through on um not that we have sky we've got virgin but you know what i mean on the store there so that was sort of about 19 it was literally about 1970s where there were a lot of feminists sort of um i can't think of the word now what am i looking for disputes about it there was a demonstration at the 1970s one again i can't remember this this was all live so i must have seen it um where you know they stormed the stage there was problems with everything there um it was the first year although i've been looking at this they, they say it was the first year that uh, a black contestant won i'm always a little bit hazy on the terms here because obviously you don't want to offend but when i've looked back i'm sure there was um an indian lady that won previous so i'm not quite sure where that stands but it was quite the thing that the achievement of that in its own right was amazing but again were these women being i don't know were they being objectified there were a lot of comments about cattle marketing and things like that i know i watched a documentary on it and yeah it was quite scary and i get the feminist issues they were talking about but as a child at the time i didn't know that i didn't get it um, I just love watching it. It was as simple as that. But yeah, I don't know. Some of the girls were arguing, will they benefit from it? I mean, some of them have gone on to do amazing things in their lives and it was a great platform for that. So who was using who? All sorts of issues were coming out at the time. Obviously, I, I don't wish to sort of put my opinions on anybody. It is up to yourselves to do that. But for me, it was just a memory and I was just excited about getting it. I think I paid a little bit too much looking at it now. I didn't pay a huge amount. I paid £20, but I don't know. It was worth it. I've been excited about it. It's been great to make the video about it as it brings a lot of memories back from that era. It made me think about talking about my little doll who she's here, bless her. Look at that little face. I couldn't resist her. I said, this corner shop we had, she sold wool and bits and bobs and haberdashery. And she used to have a few toys in the window. And I, my mum used to go to the shop a lot because obviously she was knitting a lot and things, um, buying the craft products from her. And so I was always sort of looking in the window and seeing what she'd got. I can even remember the lady's name. She was called Carol. And it was going round to Carol's to get some wool with mum. And like I say, I saw this little girl and I'd have given the world for her. So it was definitely worth giving up the fare for the time I spent with this little doll. Um, like I said, I do need to make her some clothes. I can't remember what she came in. She did have a little nappy that I'd made her. And I can remember making her some little blue shoes as well. But they're all long gone now. So I think she needs something a little bit warmer. She's a little bit chilly there and something a little bit more modern. So I, I need to make something for her. So I'm popping her back down there. So I hope you enjoyed having a look at this. I hope it maybe even raises a few issues, um, makes people think a little bit about, was it a good thing? Was it a bad thing? I don't know. I think it was a thing of its time. And I think we sort of, sort of can respect that. But 
what came from it has been a massive evolution of how we review things and look at things. So, I don't know. There's good, there's bad. I will let you make up your own mind. Maybe go and watch the film, as I said. I've not seen it yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing that. But to me, it was memories sat with mum and watching the TV. you got to remember, there was not a lot on TV then either. So it was a completely different time. I think anybody under a certain age group just cannot even comprehend it so thank you for watching and um, please like subscribe and share i've got some crochet coming along in later in the week and i hope to see you then thank you very much bye